the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 115, 1 Kings 8, The Prayer of Dedication, International Politics, Carrying the Ark of Covenant into the completed temple, Solomon declared before the entire congregation that this temple would become the one for all the nations. First point, 10 instances can be found in regards to the process of the 500-year moving tabernacle being placed from Mount Sinai to Jerusalem. First, the tabernacle was designed during the days of Moses. Second, the ark stayed with the Israel people for 40 years in the desert. Third, the priests took the ark on their shoulders and crossed the Jordan River. Fourth, the ark went to Gilgal after arriving in Canaan. Fifth, the priests carried the ark into Jericho. Sixth, Hophni and Phinehas took the ark with them during the battle against the Philistines. Seventh, the ark was carried back from Kiriath Jerim. Eighth, David brought the ark back from Kiriath Jerim to Jerusalem but stopped in the middle due to the death of Uzza, which meant that it was taken to the house of Obed Edom. Ninth, the ark was moved from the house of Obed Edom to Jerusalem. At last, the ark was placed inside the temple of Jerusalem and into the most holy place. These ten instances make up the story of the history behind the 500-year moving tabernacle. Second point, God's clouds filled the place with glory when the ark was first placed in the tabernacle and also when it was placed inside the Jerusalem temple. All the Israelites came together to King Solomon at the time of the festival in the month of Ethanim, which was the seventh month. And as commanded in the rose, the ark was moved into the most holy place, and there God's presence was to dwell. Third point, Solomon's prayer of dedication contained God's desire to bless all nations. The highlight of the opening of the temple was Solomon's prayer of dedication. This prayer truly showed the wisdom of Solomon. Solomon swore an oath to God. He also made a reference to Leviticus chapter 26 and the three levels of punishment and the prayer of the captives, all according to a kingdom of priests. Solomon also prayed for the days of famine that is recorded in Leviticus chapter 26. Solomon continued to pray for the first and second level of punishments also recorded in Leviticus chapter 26. Solomon furthermore prayed for the foreigners who would come and pray in the court of the Gentiles. The tabernacle which was made on Mount Sinai only had the holy place and the most holy place. But the design given by God for the temple contained the additional court of the Gentiles. This was in order to bless all nations. Solomon's prayer of dedication set straight the aims of the temple as well as the core of a kingdom of priests. Fourth point, Daniel prayed towards Jerusalem three times a day, and this was based upon Solomon's prayer of dedication. During the 70 years in Babylon as a captive, Daniel prayed three times a day facing Jerusalem. Now, our God, hear the prayers and petitions of your servant. 
for your sake, Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear, our God, and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make a request of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Daniel's prayer had its roots in Solomon's prayer of dedication. As Solomon prayed, Daniel looked to God during the time of captivity whilst looking towards Jerusalem. Fifth point, during the dedication of the tabernacle, the people offered for 12 days. And during the dedication of the temple, the people offered for 14 days. Back when the tent of the tabernacle was being set up, the people gave offerings for 12 days in Mount Sinai. Now in the temple, the people gave offerings for 14 days. Solomon first blessed the Israelites. Solomon then told the people to follow the laws. Solomon then offered the first offering in the temple with the people of Israel. This went on for 14 days. The offerings made during the 14 days were shared between the people. Thus, everyone from the 12 tribes of Israel was able to enjoy the offering of the temple. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.